Now, let's try to learn how to calculate effective nuclear charges that is Z effective. Z effective is given by Z minus S where Z is basically the nuclear charge and S is the screening or shielding constant. Now, the value of this S can be calculated by the following ways. Now the first point is, first we have to write out the electronic configuration of the element in the following order and groupings. First we will write 1s, then 2s and 2p together, then 3s and 3p, then 3d, then 4s and 4p, then 4d, then 4f, then 5s and 5p etc. Now the second step is that electrons in any group higher in this sequence than the electron under consideration that contributes nothing to S. Now the third point is consider a particular electron in an NS or NP orbital. Now first each of the other electrons in the NS and NP group that contributes S is equal to 0 0.35. B point to remember is each of the electrons in the N minus 1 shell contributes S is equal to 0 0.85 while each of the electrons in the N minus 2 or lower shells that contributes S is equal to 1. Now the next point is consider a particular electron in an ND or NF orbital. If the electron is present in ND or NF then what are the steps? Each of the other electrons in the ND or NF group that contributes S is equal to 0 0.35. Each of the electrons in the lower group then the one being considered that contributes S is equal to 1. Now let's consider an example of potassium whose atomic number is equal to 19 and the electronic configuration will be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6 and 4s1. Now the value of Z for potassium will be equal to 19. Let us suppose we want to calculate the Z effective for 4s electrons. Now for 4s electrons, for s electrons, if we remember our steps, then for s electrons, we were saying that if we consider a particular electron in an ns or np orbital, then each of the other electrons in the ns and np contributes s is equal to 0 0.35, while each of the electrons in n minus 1 shell contributes s is equal to 0 0.85. So in our particular question, if we consider this outer 4s electron, if let us say n is equal to 4 here, so n minus 1 will be equal to 3. So what is the total number of uh, n minus 1 electrons that is 2 plus 6 that is equal to 8. So what is the contribution for the electron in n minus 1 that is equal to 0 0.85. So we have written S for these 8 electrons that is 8 multiplied by 0 0.85 plus. Now if we carefully note the next step, in the next step we have written that each of the electrons in the n minus 2 or lower shells whether it is n minus 2 or it is lower than that of n minus 2 all the electrons that will contribute s is equal to 1. So in our case if we consider n minus 2 that will be equal to 2 for n is equal to 4 n minus 2 will be equal to 2. So for n minus 2 plus the lower electrons the contribution is equal to 1. 
so we will count the rest of the electrons so it will be 2 plus 2 plus 6 that is equal to 10 so 10 will multiplied by 1 as we have seen because the point is that each of the electrons in the n minus 2 or the lower shells that contributes s is equal to 1 so in this case our electron total electrons of n minus 2 or lower is equal to 2 plus 2 plus 6 that is equal to 10 so 10 multiplied by 1 so if we calculate it then z effective comes out to be equal to 2.20 now suppose if there is another example of if let us say it is 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 or 3d1 let's consider a hypothetical example of 3d1 so in this case z effective is equal to for any 3d electron z effective is equal to z minus h so z in this case again it is equal to 19 so what is the value of s now we have seen the step that if we consider a particular electron in nd or nf orbital if the electron we are considering is in d and f then each of the other electrons in nd and nf group contributes 0 0.35 and each of the electrons in the lower group then the one being considered contributes s is equal to 1 so each of the electrons in the lower group than the one being considered that contributes basically s is equal to 1 so in our case we are considering 3d electron so each of the electron in the lower group that is 2 plus 2 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 that is 18 that will contribute 1 so our answer for z effective comes out to be equal to 1 so thus in the 4s rather than the 3d the electron in the 4s orbital is under the influence of a greater z effective that is greater effective nuclear charge and in the ground state of potassium it is 4s atomic orbital that is occupied so that is how we can calculate the value of uh, effective nuclear charge